Diggity Dog Tolik here. Today we are going to be learning about some of the main groups of dinosaurs. By using this handy cladogram, you will learn about some of the wackiest and largest terrestrial creatures to have ever roamed the Earth. Let us go. The dinosaur family is divided into two main groups. Starting about 230 million years ago, a subgroup of archosaurs were split apart by their hip bone structure. The first group is the Saurischians or the lizard hip dinosaurs. The other group is Ornithischians or the bird hip dinosaurs. The following cladogram will focus on these two groups by highlighting their primary orders and the anatomical characteristics related to each of them. Let's begin with the Saurischians and the Theropoda order. Theropoda means beast-footed and these creatures were the largest known terrestrial carnivores to ever have existed. They were bipedal, which meant they walked on just two legs. Contrary to what you may see in the movies, they had very limited wrist movement in their forelimbs, which makes them look kinda funny. But do not be fooled. Their jaws and large sharp teeth can bite with the force of nearly 12,000 pounds. Oddly enough, this is the group that modern birds have evolved from. Yes, birds are under the lizard hip category, not the bird hip. Don't ask me. I don't make the science. Our next group is the Sauropodomorpha, meaning lizard foot form. This group is identified as the long-necked, herbivorous dinosaurs that became the largest animals that ever walked the earth. Prosauropodes are small to medium-sized sauropods that had long necks and their arms were shorter than their hind legs. They were typically herbivores too. A classic example of a prosauropod is a Plateosaurus. Sauropodes are four-legged, long-necked herbivores that are characterized by their erect limbs which are similar to modern-day elephants. Their long necks helped them to browse leaves and twigs from high branches. They had light tiny skulls, as well as long tails that were used for balance and defense. Sauropods were the true giants of the dinosaur age including the Apatosaurus and Brontosaurus. Let us continue on with our next group, the Ornithischians, or the bird-hipped dinosaurs, starting with the Ornithipods. Ornithipodo means bird-footed. Most Ornithipods had bird-like snouts which has given them the name of the duck-billed dinosaurs. These bipedal herbivores were quick, equipped with stiff tails and webbed feet. Their crest had airways that scientists believe allowed the creature to produce a range of noises for communication, possibly for mating calls. A popular example of this group is the Hadrosaurus. The next group in the Ornithischians category are the Marginocephalia. The dinosaurs in this suborder are distinguished by their ornate, oversized skulls. Ceratogians are set apart by the size of their horns, and frills. Scientists believe that their frills were meant for either warmth or to attract mates. Their beaks and teeth suggest that they fed on tough vegetation. A popular ceratopsia is the Triceratops. Pachycephalosauria means, thick-headed. Pachycephalosaurs are characterized by their extremely thick, bony heads, which they presumably used to do one another for the right to mate. These dinosaurs were mostly herbivores, though some isolated species may have been omnivorous. Well-known Pachycephalosaurus is the Pachycephalosaurus. Thyreophora is Greek for shield bearers. They are characterized by the elaborate spikes and plates that cover most of their bodies. Ankylosauria is a group of bulky quadruped, herbivores. These creatures are distinguished by their broad heads, armor-like spikes extending all the way down their backs, and heavy club-like tails. It is believed that the club could be used as either a defensive weapon or for sexual ornamentation. Stegosauria were quadrupedal and herbivorous dinosaurs with short, massive limbs. Their short hands and feet were capped by hoof-like unguels. The key feature of the Stegosaurus was the rows of plates on their spines, which they likely used as decoration for mating. Though their spikes did provide some protection from predators, their spikes at the end of their tails were their main weapon of defense. Now on to our very last group, the Fabrosauridae. These dinosaurs had triangular skulls with very large eye sockets. This suggests that they had relatively huge eyes that faced laterally. These quick herbivores could escape most of their predators with evasive speed. 
Scientists know this because their tibias are much longer than their femurs on their hind limbs, which suggests that these creatures adapted to bipedality and speed. Well, there you go kids. I hope you had fun learning about these unique creatures. I sure did. Now go bless the world with your newfound knowledge of extinct things. I'm going to go home and play my hurdy-gurdy. Diggity dog to look out. <laughs>